do that investigation? Is On the governor's office. Okay. Yeah. So an independent. Yes. Yes. Any other public comment? Yes. Uh, Councilman Englander introduced a, a resolution that was approved by City Los Angeles yes. City Council in support of Senate Bill 146. That just passed today, didn't yeah. it? I, yes, I failed yes. to mention that. Any other public comment? All right, seeing none, we'll take this up with the board. Uh, Mark's already spoken in favor. Anyone speaking against this motion? Anyone against? I'll take one more in favor. I don't see any hands. Yes. Yeah, well, for it, everyone. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that pretty much uh, means we should uh, take a vote. Okay. Roll call vote. When you're ready, Julie. Okay. Uh, Dave Boulay. Aye. Mike Benedetto. Yes. Jeffrey Moore. Yes. Bonnie Burst. Yes. Julie Carson. Yes. Jet Dunlap. Yes. Don Graham. Yes. Sally Colston. Yes. Don Lopez? Yes. Darren Lopez? Yes. Uh, Joel Lyle? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Um, and oh, Mark Morris? Yes. Brandon Schindelheim? Yes. Renee Schindelheim? Yes. Andrew Wall? Yes. Cindy Wu Freeman? Yes. Sounds like yes. you have a show to me. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much. Uh, C is discussion and possible recommendation from the board regarding the DWP Customer Bill of Rights. Uh, Mr. Mansker asked me to put this on the, the, uh, the agenda. Uh, the supporting documentation is uh, back there in the public. I hope you all had an opportunity to read this. Uh, I'm going to make a motion myself that that, uh, that uh, we put this out for for uh, uh, comments. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Bohr. First of all, I think it's important public comment on this. Yes, Eric, you got two minutes. I, I, this is to Millie. Uh, do you know when the next hearing for this is set up for? Because they had it originally for the third. And they moved it, I know they moved it back, but I don't know to what date that hearing is. Sorry, I wish I could answer that. It's not something we've talked about in the staff. We don't have that. I can get that information for you and send it to you. Okay. Any other public comment? Board comment? this talking about the progress is about it, making candidates available before the funerals. So is, it, <laughs> is, this, is this about what you talked about before when we talked about making the city council make these rules available five days prior? Yes, I, I, uh, I unfortunately, uh, well, I guess we could. I, I'm, as I said, I had sent an email to Jill, who's president of the bank, uh, and asked her if she would put this on, and I wanted the bank to rule on it, uh, and Dave concurred that we need at least 90 days on anything that the city presents or any department sends to us because we just can't operate in, in a two-week window. Any other board discussion? Yeah, I'm confused exactly what we're voting. We're, yeah. we're just we're just asking for comments at this point. Okay. Okay. So there's but you moved something. I just moved it to the floor for discussion. Where did you find that piece? Any That's any other thank you. Uh, any other discussion comments on this? Get them to bring my house. I don't see any. All right. I, what I'd like you to do is actually, if you haven't had a chance, take a look at this document. Uh, and, and actually read it uh, carefully. Some of you have, I'm sure. Uh, perhaps some of you didn't have time. Uh, there may be some changes that we want to we want to uh, make. I will say this does not have a council file yet. At least it didn't earlier in the week when I checked. So uh, if they create a council file for it, then we'll have an opportunity to actually, you know, if we want to make changes, uh, bring it up and, and uh, vote on any changes to the document that we think are appropriate. And uh, send that in. I Julie? Mean, yeah, I need to be able to fill about this, but this is not a motion. I mean, it's just a topic for discussion. Just a topic for discussion at this okay, point. So we didn't if, need if there had been a suggestion, then we could. Right. So we didn't need it moved. We're, Dave and I are, Dave and I are just trying to get clear on how to move 
Just just reflect it as as it was open for discussion. Okay. Open okay. For discussion, yes. And and no items were were uh, okay. no suggestions were taken for a vote okay. this time. At this time, we may bring it back uh, next month. If, if people do have uh, suggestions. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Eric, for bringing this up. I think it is important, and and uh, if we get a, a council file on it, uh, definitely we're going to want to take another look at it. Uh, committee reports number eight, uh, and Julie, I, I got your uh, your email, yeah. so I'm going to try to do that from now on. Uh, just just for the information of the board and the public, uh, when we start with committee reports, that's always a Roman numeral, and then I list the uh, separate committees, and normally number them A, B, C, and so on. But that makes it a little confusing for the minutes writer and yeah. for Julie because we have multiple A, Bs, and Cs. Right, like we've got four. Yeah. So what we're going to do from here on, I hope, it probably only take me six months to get it right. But what we're going to do from here on is the first, the first uh, uh, items will be A and B. Uh, how many ever items we have as we go to the next committee. That will be C. So we go to the next committee. If it's got two items, that will be D and E and so on. So that as we're going through it, each item will have a separate letter to it. Yeah. Okay? And I'm just explaining that to the board so as we as we get into it, nobody will be scratching their head or other parts of your anatomy and wondering what we are doing. <laughs> okay. Is this going to be a rule? It's not going to be a rule. It's, okay. it's simply something that Julie and, and David have asked me to do, and, and I'm acquiescing. How's that for tonight's show? Uh, Bonnie? Just, uh, just a comment. Why not just have like one for each item, and then they could be a letter A for bylaws, B for beautification, C planning, and then have one and two under that. I suppose we could do it that because way, too, that right? Way as long as you're able to identify what belongs to what committee. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll consider. That's a possibility too. In fact, that might work better and then yeah. we don't lose it. So, is that all right, David? That's more. Yes, more thanks for asking. Okay. <laughs> that's what you're going to write. You're the guy doing the writing. I'm better asking. Okay, so that's the way we'll do it from now on. Each committee will be will be lettered. Thank you, Bonnie. Yeah, that makes it even easier. Thank you. Okay, Jeffrey, I'm going to turn it over to you for a, a report for the bylaws committee. Okay. Um, the meeting was held on the 30th. Um, if you remember last uh, last meeting, we went over several of the areas that we were looking at to change bylaws, and we all had uh, quite a bit of time to talk about it. Uh, this meeting was pretty much to solidify and to get just about as close to the final language as possible of uh, all the amendments and changes that were we're looking at, and uh, that's why I think our next step is to call a special meeting uh, just for discussion and to cross our T's and dot our I's and make sure everyone's on board with the specific changes. Um, it's pretty much where we are. We're not going to, you know, have the whole amended version out here. Uh, but like, like I said, I think all of us there at the meeting pretty much thought that um, a special meeting is indicated on this. And the sooner the better. All right, thank you, Jeffrey. Do we want to take a motion for, for a special meeting? Yes. All right, so moved by Mr. Bohr. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Morris uh, for a special meeting of the bylaws. Uh, I, let me just canvas the board on, on a date and see if the, everybody pull out your calendars. Okay, if you use one. Uh, is two weeks from tonight, February 16th, that's a Thursday night. Would that be a night that most people can make, or at least 11 of us? That would be the third. Th no on you, Cindy? No? I can't. I can't. You can't, Don. I'm going to be in Northern California, but you can't. But I would have made a break. Okay, well, how about everybody else? Bon? You can't make it either. Exactly. Let's pick exactly. another day. Thursday Let's pick another day out. Yeah, okay. All right, well, it also depends on availability of rooms. <laughs> what I'll do then is. Uh, Asked for availability. Asked for availability of that date, and that was good. That's why I uh, I suggested that. But if it doesn't work, what is the best night for everybody? It's Monday night. Raise your hand if Monday night's a good night for everybody. Sure. 
Okay, Monday night's a horrible night for Joel. How about Tuesday night? Is Tuesday night a better night? No, for a lot of people. Tuesday night's a better night. Wednesday night. Is Wednesday night good? Except the third Wednesday of the month. Which is poker, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Thursday night? Is it just third Thursday or Thursday night just not good? It's just that particular Thursday. Okay. Of course we play for match. All right. Only. So it'll depend on availability of one of these rooms. I'll try to get, uh, I'll try to get, it sounds like Thursday night might be, might be the best. Uh, if we could get like uh, the 23rd, perhaps. Thursday the 23rd. Yeah. yeah. That, that's one day you know, I can't do it the 4th Thursday. Okay. Thursday the 23rd, if that's available, would that work? <laughs> no, on Sunday. Well, you're you're taking every night, but uh, one Sunday night, I think, in, uh, in May, so. The <laughs> 23rd? No. The other. <laughs> All right, let, let me check, and I will send out an email to the board. Do we do Skype meetings? Well, again, depending on the availability here, there may only be two of them. It sounds like most people's emails on the 16th, except for like four of us. Well, I'll send it, let me, let me check on some other dates, and we'll see. All right? And, and then uh, uh, we'll, we'll set an agenda and, and go from there. I also, based on Mr. Kuzman's uh, Letter tonight. I want to check with the city attorney and make sure we're on the uh, uh, straight and narrow with the uh, with the committee meeting. Um, okay. Let's. Uh, anything else, uh, Jeffrey? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, beautification. Uh, Wait, we have a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. We moved well, for a special meeting. We did. Okay, we did. We just didn't set a date. Uh, all right. Any anything from the public on, on a special meeting? Yes, Mr. Good. Sorry, Mr. Boer, I got to repeat what I said the other night because it still holds true. This neighborhood council has a set of bylaws. This the set of bylaws is supposed to delineate how you can change your bylaws, how much of a majority you need, and a procedure for it. It is highly recommended by Robert's Rules of Order that these things be put in the neighborhood council or any legislative body of any sort into their <coughs> bylaws is how they're going to uh, process for changing. Our bylaws do not have such a process for changing the bylaws. So when that happens, you either have to go to a higher law or rule or regulation for the body, or you have to go to your parliamentary procedure, which is Robert's Rules of Order. Regarding special meetings, Dunn has no rules regarding special meetings. These are regulated either by your bylaws, your standing rules, Robert's Rules of Order, or the Brown Act. These are the only things that reference special meetings. So speaking to the city attorney is probably a wise idea before even scheduling such a meeting or voting on such. And again, voting on such is a problem <coughs> because you already had a quorum board members. You, you had a... You had a serial meeting on Monday night, and there was a consensus of six board members, and that consensus, the six people are a majority of the minimum quorum. So this cannot happen tonight. Also, with regard to bylaws, the bylaws refer to standing rules. There has been no mention made of revising the standing rules or creating them. This neighborhood council doesn't have an existing set of standing rules, even though they are referenced in the council's bylaws. So where are the standing rules? These two documents do need to go hand in hand. There are done rules for revising the bylaws, and I forward them to the chair this morning, or yesterday, I believe. Those rules are very specific. And to, to, to come to a meeting and just have verbal discussion about changes with anything, not anything prepared in writing, not a strikeout version, not a proposed rules, just, and to have a special meeting just to discuss it and not vote on anything, uh, considering how much you complain about volunteering and wasting your time, that would be a waste of time, in my opinion, without something in writing that you'd be able to comment on or or against and then be able to vote intelligently on. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Let, let me just respond to two things. First of all, uh, Dunn does allow special meetings. You can do anything in a special meeting that you can do at a regular meeting. That's already been confirmed, all right? So if you can change bylaws at a regular meeting, 
you can do that at a special meeting. Secondly, I'm not sure why you think we, we would not have the, the necessary documents at a special meeting so that people could follow along and that wouldn't be sent out with the agenda. Uh, certainly, I would expect that those documents would be sent out with the agenda and that uh, people would have those to follow along with. Uh, this would not be a, a meeting to discuss the bylaws. This would be a meeting to discuss and act on the bylaws. If, unless I'm misunderstood. All right, so uh, as far as the, the meeting uh, Monday night, I'll check with the city attorney. Uh, my recollection is there are only three people that voted on the, uh, on the, rec on the recommendation to hold a special meeting, and that were the three committee members, uh, Mr. Uh, Matthews, Ms. Burst, and Mr. Borg. The other people didn't vote. Um, so the other board members that were there, uh, including myself, who could have, by the way. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll move forward with this. I'll try to find some dates. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll address Mr. Kuzman's objections and see what's up. OK, so let's move on. Thank you, Jeffrey. Uh, beautification Committee. You're going to take a vote? We still have a motion. <coughs> Okay, I'm trying to move away from it twice. But <laughs> it's All right, any other discussion on the motion to have a special meeting? All right, hearing none, uh, let's take a vote. Let's take a roll call vote on this, starting with myself. Whenever you're ready, Julie. Yes, Dave. Yes, for a special meeting. Yes. Michael? Yes. Jeffrey? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Julie? Yes. Jet? Abstain. Don? Graham? Abstain. Sally Colstead? Yes. Uh, Don Lopez? Yes. Darren Lopez? Yes. Jo Joel Lyle? Yes. And uh, Mark Morris? Yes. Brandon? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Renee? Yes. Yeah. Andrew Wong? Yes. Cindy Freeman? Abstain. Passes? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 13 to 3. Yeah, All right, so that, that motion carries. We will. Uh, Schedule a special meeting uh, sometime that later this month uh, for the bylaws. Uh, let me just say, if it's not possible to do that, we might make our regular meeting just for the bylaws and and for the uh, necessary uh, things. To, yes, Bonnie. Another possibility, because uh, which does not require that you get a quorum, and Don told me this that I can do it once. You can have a joint board and committee meeting. Yes. You don't have to have a quorum, but you are not limited to, you know, and then you don't have the issue of six people showing up. If you notice it right. as a joint committee and board meeting, send it out, then you're not violating any of those rules. They, they, everybody can meet, they can meet as often as they want, and then the proposed, when you finish the product, can be brought back to the general board meeting where you will have a quorum. So that you don't have to struggle to get a quorum of board <coughs> members at a joint board and, and committee meeting. Yes. Dave, I made Julie. a mistake. I did not call Justin. Uh, I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. Sorry, Justin, you should have spoken. <laughs> All right. And can we, can, find, can we finally get to Joel? Yeah, thank you, Bonnie. I'm aware of that, but um, well, we might want to consider that. Joel? Well, the exciting news, <laughs> you've all been waiting to get to me, uh, is that the beautification meeting that was scheduled for uh, Tuesday night uh, was canceled due to lack of quorum. So we're going to have to reschedule um, and make a report at the uh, March meeting. Okay, thank you very much. Very unfortunate. I want to just remind everybody how important it is. You know, we, we have a minimum number of people on most of the uh, of these committees, and uh, you know, we really need to show up uh, for, for the committees that you're on. Uh, obviously, there's things that get in the way. Some things got in your way the other night, I assume. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I want to comment that, yes. that Joel and I did show up and, and we just didn't hold the meeting because no one else was here. But Joel you had a conversation. Joel, Joel, did, Joel, Joel did all the preparatory work in advance. 
All right, uh, planning and land use. Uh, Cindy, anything that you want to report? We had to cancel that meeting. But, uh, anything you want to report on that? Um, we, yeah, so we have to cancel the meeting, but I think moving forward, um, we'll try to submit the agenda a week before our date. So it'll allow some people to post and all that. Um, and then, so just want to mention that we did submit the street cleaning list. Um, street repair or street street repair? repair? What did I say? Really? You said clean. Oh, sorry. I meant, I meant uh, uh, street pothole repair, the pothole repair. So I think we have about five, six items. I got some from Dave, uh, which was carried over from the list before. And uh, the, the meeting we would have had really had no action items um, besides some discussion regarding cell towers and um, LEDWP and so forth. So, but yes, if there's anything you guys think we should be looking at, um, then please submit it to me and I'll put it on the agenda for February. For February. Right, and yes. that would be the, the fourth, fourth Wednesday in February. Yes. But by the way, I've, I've gotten confirmation uh, from, from the school, from uh, Judy Kaiser, for the next six months for your meetings mm -hmm. and, and for the regular board meetings, all right? So we should be good either here or in the library for, for the uh, through through the end of the school year. Uh, all right, going to outreach, Mr. Benedetto. Well, first off, outreach wants to know why we're always last. So as as because you As take you the can. most time? Uh, yeah. Okay. You're anchor? Well, I'm not, I'm not going to disappoint you. If you stop standing on my stuff, yeah. maybe you'll get bumped up a little bit. <laughs> so as you know, Outreach has taken the lead on uh, the issue of homelessness. Uh, we've actually put together a bank site for those of you in the audience who don't know what bank is. It's Valley Alliance of Neighborhood Councils, and our site is bank on homelessness. So. Perhaps we can take a look at that. We are going to, well, I've already arranged a trip to the Samaritan Center, and we're going to have that on February 7th at 1130 a.m. And anybody who wants to attend that, uh, I'm just figuring if it's not broke, why try and fix it? They have a tremendous program. And we're going to try and bring some of that to our neck of the woods and also share that information with CD12. So that will be coming up uh, soon. Uh, please email me. I believe uh, Renee might be able to go. I know Mark's going to go. Sally said she would go. Uh, it would be nice to have a contingency because I can't remember it. Uh, in addition to that, on January 28th, I went to a Neighborhood Council Emergency Preparedness Alliance meeting and spoke with many other neighborhood councils on the Emergency Management Committee and board. And what we're trying to do is build a neighborhood council team. And some of the things that we learned there uh, from Scott Edson is all about L.A. Ricks. LA Ricks is Los Angeles Regional Interoperational Communication System. <laughs> and what we found out is that, well, sometimes it works, but sometimes it doesn't, in that they have one tower. And sometimes, I can't believe this is a problem in 2017, but law enforcement, LAPD, uh, the Sheriff's Department, the ambulances and whatnot are not on the same channel. So what they're trying to do is, is develop a program where as people's radios become obsolete, we're all going to try and get on the same channel. The nice thing about that is uh, they're going to devote some channels to neighborhood councils so that we can all work together. It was, it was stated that during, a, let's say, an earthquake or other emergencies, we're going to be on our own from five to seven days without the government helping us, uh, without our county helping us. It could be longer now. Be much longer. It, it, it could be much longer. 
So basically, we're going to be on our own, and we're going to hopefully take the lead here too and develop a system where we can assist. As a matter of fact, this program called Five Steps uh, Jumpstart for Emergency Action Plan. I, I, I hope to look forward to working with Darren on developing a, a plan for uh, these kind of things. As a matter of fact, on Monday, be before the bylaws meeting, I know everybody wanted to know why it was early, but I, I stopped at, off at the uh, CERT program and managed to get a list of everybody who's going to be graduating from that program in that I kind of a vision, and I'm going to try and step on your toes or anything, but that perhaps we can arrange block by block people who will educate people, we can have fly out, uh, flyers, handouts, etc., and a list of what you need to prepare for being prepared. So let me let me read that list. That's a copy. Okay. And um, so basically that is it on that. So with regards to our first motion, discussion of possible board action and appointment of following liaisons. The first one being homeless and I have actually volunteered for this position. I know Mark is uh, going to be co-liaison. This is a big subject, and we need plenty of volunteers and other people because uh, you can have other liaisons on this. So we're going to start with that. Anybody else interested? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to have to um, say the name. Is this Justin? Is this a motion? Or is uh, this just a it, No, it, it's actually, I guess, an appointment mm -hmm. at this point for liaison because we have to forward who our reps are going to be. Okay, so Justin. <coughs> and Sally. Yeah. Sally Colstad, Mark Morris. And you, right? And, and me. Okay. That's my name, me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mike? Yes. Is it possible to come on at a later date? Is I'm, absolutely. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Is that the more the merrier? Okay. After, after the more the election, I'll be there. Uh, thank you. Awesome. The next position for liaison well, is for. Should we take a vote on it? Unless you want to. I you have to. I, I think we should confirm Okay. And I have a comment. Is this an official position? Yes. The play is on position. The is on position. But you know what? Just to be on the safe side, um, each is each person. Well, I don't know. I don't have my parliamentarian here tonight, so I don't, I don't know if we should be taking the vote on it or not, or we'll just make the point. Well, let's start with... The two people who are going to co-lead this would be myself and Mark Morris. Uh, is there a second? I second. All right. Public comment? Mr. Kuzman? Yeah. When you first started talking about this, you said that anybody could be appointed as a liaison for this. Now, when you said that, did you mean anybody on the board? Stakeholders. Or stakeholders, well. too. I just want to maybe clarify that because when the first appointment came up, I questioned as to whether a stakeholder could be appointed to the homeless liaison position. And because it is the mayor's call for each neighborhood council to appoint a board member as a liaison to the Committee on Homelessness, I was told that a stakeholder could not be appointed as a liaison to the Homeless Committee by the representative at the mayor's office. Well, Mark and I are the official teams. Well, you're board members, so you're okay. I just okay. wanted to kind of like well, clarify what I knew about whether a stakeholder could be appointed to that position or not. They could be part of our contingency. But they can't be appointed as a liaison. So you're not volunteering to it? No, no, I just yeah. wanted to <laughs> make it clear. Uh, Let's see if there's any other. Any other public comment? Board discussion. David. Just, uh, just a, a, a quick comment. You know, if we have enough interest in this, and it looks like we do, we may want to consider putting together an ad hoc committee on this. Yeah. 
Uh, That's great. We put it on the agenda for March and just yeah. put an ad hoc committee uh, with with the chairs and co chairs liaisons and mm -hmm. the rest of the folks as uh, you know official ones. Yeah, it's, you know, especially with the budget. It's <coughs> Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm full of them. <laughs> I'm full of that. I'm not sure. uh, Any other discussion? <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's have a vote. What are we voting? What are we voting? Uh, Layers on for homeless. Okay, so yeah, I don't think we're going to vote. 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 Yeah, I don't think we
that Josefina is going to tell MGM where they can and can't film. Uh, well, I've always dreamed doing that. <laughs> Lock it down, girl! As far as liability goes, no matter what actions any of us take in, in the, as business for the city, the city is going to indemnify and defend us anyway. So there's yeah. absolutely nothing there. Yeah. And of course, if Josefina does step over, I'll volunteer to represent. Do you know how it works? In, in other words, a studio or a production company will call, say me, because I have had filming at my house. I've had production companies. I have made. Well, I don't think it's that. But that what I'm saying it. is, because I'm, I live in Granada Hills, they would call me. Now, if a liaison from neighborhood council came, I would say, "What business of yours?" Okay, well, that's you. I'm, that's, that's me. And I'm going to tell you something. The average person, if you cause them to lose that money, they're going to feel bad too. And then they can turn around and say, you cost me $5,000 for the filming because you stuck your nose in it. I'm going to sue you. So who's being indemnified? This is a second public comment. I, all all I'm saying is that's why I would not touch this. I've had seen this happen. All right. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Council, are we going to get that in writing, by the way? Uh, Jack. Okay, so I wasn't at the last meeting because uh, I got in a car accident, so I, I don't know much about this, but it seems like something I, I might, I mean, I work in film and television, and I work with location scouts. I'm also a member of the Screen Actors Guild, so I would be curious more of what Eric's saying, and I, I know he's looking out for us, you know, in the best way he can, is that would there be conflicts if I'm working for a studio that ends up, you know, because everything that I do is, Per contract, right? So I don't know if I'm working. That's why it's hard for me to schedule if I'm working this day or this day. But let's say, for instance, HBO Go, I work with a lot. They're filming at a location in the valley that I'm, or in Granada Hills that I'm part of. Is that a conflict? I'm, I'm just curious. I don't know. Um, you know, because I would be being paid at any given time by an organization that may be. You know, I don't want anyone to. Th I mean, I don't even know. Would it be wrong for us to be a liaison? I mean, These are just questions I have uh, for the city. I don't. I don't see how it could be. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I can't actually call on you. Sorry. Oh, um, so did you have a question? Because it sounds interesting. Well, I just, uh, well, I have a comment. So if you want someone to ask a question, go ahead. Because I, I was just, I'm not actually all that worried about the suing part, but I mean, to take a role as the Granada Hills Neighbor Council, this is not a small area relative to um, what the location is. So could you all just imagine what would happen <coughs> if a stakeholder in the community felt that the elected liaison of this board chose a location in Granada Hill and they filmed there, and that person felt slighted by this board, and then would come to every board meeting <laughs> and make comment after comment after comment about the actions of this board because they felt slighted. I, I, do we really want to take that off? But it doesn't, it doesn't it's like, I, I really am curious. It sounds really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 okay, here we go. I, I would, you know, I, I would like to propose that we table this until we have a clearer view of just what this liaison does. Because yeah. right. my yeah. understanding, my understanding was that the liaison, what I was hoping, this might just be wishful thinking on my part, is that the liaison's function would be to work with uh, the the, um, the right with with the city and could communicate back to us. Like what projects, what film projects might be coming up? Because I, I for myself, oh, because I've, I've had a lot of things filmed. Yeah, that's that's I that's 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 yeah see, I'm wide open and and things. And you know how it is around here, like you know, Jack in the Box and commercials, all sorts of you know, ET, whatever. You know, it would be nice to have somebody that was that was connected to that department at City Hall with the community. Uh, that can communicate back to us, but I agree. I, I, don't, know that's, I don't know if that's the function of it. Uh, so we need to well, who are we going to charge to come back and report to us uh, what this is about? We have a representative. We should ask Melvin to come out next month and explain it. Okay, let's get some information from Cindy yeah. and then Joel, and then, uh, and then I'll ask you if you want to possibly make a motion at the table. Yeah. Cindy, yeah. Well, I, I I just wanted to clarify, I think, you know, I mean, I just will give the clarification, but according to Melvin, it is that they get so many phone calls asking for locations. Um, it could be anybody from Canada, from overseas. So what they're doing is just, you know, they want a liaison from each neighborhood council, so instead of sending it to the president, 
kind of leverage it and delegate it. And to my understanding, what Melvin said is, when they get those calls, they're going to just write an email to all the liaisons and say, hey, somebody's looking for this. And it depends on the how, well, it depends on the liaison responding, the film liaison. They could respond, they could not respond. That's all there is to my understanding of what Melvin said. Okay, last two comments, Joe. Okay, I wasn't here last meeting, so I have no idea what this is all about. I'd like to have more clarification. I think we all need to have more clarification. I, I don't know about the liability of this or that, of not recommending this guy's property versus that guy's property, but I would like to know more about it. I think it's very interesting, and I think it would be something that I would be interested in involved. Okay, Jack, real quick. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I mean, clarification would be key because there is a position, there is so many positions for I want to fill in this city. I mean, I have a stack of location scout cards just because some of the properties that I know up in areas. And so I, I would be, and Granada Hills gets a ton of filming, if you guys don't know, because I ran, run around this area a lot, you know, when I was doing 10 miles a day, it was like, do we are doing filming. They put notices on the doors and the studios know what locations they're going to use over again. And I would think this would only fall into like parks and city stuff. I, I, it's weird because it's a private location that they're looking to film in. Or are they just going to call us and say, hey, Jet, I'm looking to film somewhere in Granada Hills. I'm from Canada. Do you guys have a house there? I mean, that, that would be weird. There's books and books and books that people can go to to find out. Do you know what I mean? Like, it just, it, it, I don't know. The studios are set up for this, and there's a lot of unions. There's a lot of cross-union danger. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm just blabbing. Maria, I'm sorry, but I, I'd like to call on you, but we're past public comment. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't hate me. Call the question. Oh, no, I want to call the question. I can't believe you spent this much time. Yeah. I think I thought the Porter Ranch gassing was going to take place. <laughs> 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 Are we talking about no, that? I'd like to make a motion. I'd like to make a motion <laughs> that we table this until we have further information in writing as far as what the, 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 the function of it has been second. So let, let's start with the motion to table this. Who was who second? Seconded. Seconded by Mr. Lyle. Lyle. Joel. Joel Lyle. Joel. Joel. I, I can't hear. You can't hear Joel. Joel. You don't listen to his frequency. I know. That's me. Okay. Uh, on the motion to table, <laughs> let's have a vote. Uh, those in favor? Aye. 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 Let's do it. Those of Okay. So motion passes to table that, and we'll move on. And the reason why I let it go so long is I would imagine that the. This is going to come up for animal control and for aging. So is there anybody who wants to volunteer for a liaison for animal control? Anybody who wants to volunteer for purposeful aging? Yes. What is the purpose for aging? Purpose for aging? Yes. Hey, it's late. What do you want? Unintentional aging. Yeah. I don't think we should be aging. There's a volunteer. Oh, okay. I'm just seeing you there. All right. All right. So, anyone else want to volunteer? I Okay, so I'm oh, I'll defer to Julie. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll have public meetings. Very good. Uh, any public comment? Board comment? Do we do we even have the parameters on what these jobs? No. <laughs> yes, it's just that title. Okay, hold up, hold up. From what I understand, the information that I got from, from my friend Stephen Box is... Oh, that, that explains it. Does that explain a lot? Yes! <laughs> that explains the film thing, too? Yes. Okay. All you had to say was that! Yeah. Um, so, it's, uh, you know, it's an effort to uh, get the neighborhood councils more involved with the agencies okay. that, that deal with aging. 
both the city and the county agencies, since the county's really more, you know, really has the, uh, the heft there. So that's basically, you know, in a nutshell. I, I can speak. I can speak about the um, <coughs> care one. The um, because yeah, the, the because with the, the leg, there I've met a lot of people that are helping in that capacity. And, and we are one of the few uh, neighborhood councils that don't have a liaison. Right. We'll get a volunteer, we'll get a volunteer. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're passing. Okay, we're passing. Right. Yay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We're on the aging thing. We're, we're on the aging. Yeah. Purposely. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am not responsible for the it's adjective, by the way. Age, right? <laughs> we're aging. Okay, so let's have a handbook that David and Julie will be okay. David, uh, David co liaison. Oh, who made and seconded the motion? Wait, yeah. <laughs> Joel. Nobody did. Joel did. Joel did. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And Wait, who you made it? it? Joel. Okay. Joel. 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 Was seconded or? He made the motion. Yeah, we're. No. No, Mike made the motion. Mike made the motion. Mike made the motion. Why don't you restate the motion? And now we're going to go with a hand vote, one player in motion. Those in favor? Anyone opposed? Motion's carried. Did you want to go back to animals? Yes, because I think we may have, I should, might have kind of. Yeah, let's go back to that. Okay. So liaison for animal control. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, um, I, I can say from who I've met in, in the lake meetings who have actually been doing this, they, they maintain a relationship with the animal control department and uh, uh, any, any upcoming events or um, uh, anything that relate to the uh, to animal control. They, they would help. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, or even, or even like uh, regulations. Like, if anybody, do you have any roosters? That like, I think you only have five roosters or something. Well, I don't know. No, there's, little, there's things like that. This is part of what. Yeah. So Don keeps Don Lopez has volunteered for this. Any other volunteers? Joel. Volunteer? Yeah. Okay, so we got co-liaison. Who are they? Joel and, and Don. Okay. Don and Joel. Okay. Anyone else? Public comment? Board comment? Do you have a motion yet? You didn't have a motion yet. No one yet. I still move those names in the I second. Second by Mr. Morris. Board comment? And vote those in favor? Any opposed? Any abstentions? So carried. Okay, moving to item B. Recommendation. We're going to table item B because we, we had some stuff come down the, the pipeline just recently. We basically need to check out. I'll move the table to the next one. Nice. Seconded by Mr. Kim. Let's do it the other way around. Uh, yeah. okay. Those opposed? No, for the public On the web, those people. Public comment? Thank you. Public comment? Board comment? I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one you have to. <laughs> those opposed? We'll do. Abstentions? Those in favor? Uh, we'll back. Yes. Good job, Mike. It's You're unanimous. Yeah. Motion passes. Motion passes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 By the way, you led a great meeting. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, item C, motion of up to $100 for a forum on Aliso Canyon reopening issue. We had actually voted this in like last term and circumstances have occurred to where it, it's brought to light. <laughs> Mark has already mentioned that uh, Scott Wilk and uh, 
Senator Hertzberg are both on board with this. I had a previous conversation with uh, Councilman Englander, who is also on board. The supervisor, town supervisor, Catherine Barker, is also. Anybody else? Um, actually, the the uh, uh, Senator Feinstein's office might like to be. Okay, uh, public. Uh, well, you need a motion. Is there a motion on this? Well, I'll make the motion. Is there a second? It's a recommendation from the committee. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. Right. Right. Is it? I'll make the motion. Is there, uh, Don Lopez is seconding. Uh, public comment. Guzman. Yeah, I'm reading the item C. Motion for up to $100 for a form on the Aliso Canyon reopening date. I don't see in here who's holding the form, so I have no idea who you're going to be giving the $100 to. Um, this is problematic. Um, is it being held by a nonprofit organization? Is it a government organization? Is it a private organization? Uh, again, without knowing who's putting on the forum and who we're giving the $100 to, um, I'm going to have to ask that um, just go back to committee for further information as to exactly who it's going to and how it's going to be used and the status of who it's being given to. Uh, let me restate the motion then, and then we'll, we'll do it again. Granada Hill South Neighborhood Council would like to put on a forum with a motion of up to $100 for literature and items with relationship to that event. I'll make the motion. Is there a second? I'm still second. Okay. Thank you for your consistency. Uh. <coughs> Public comment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We already had a motion, right? Yeah. So he was restating it. Yeah, just clarify that it was <laughs> someone yeah. the water putting it on. We don't want to. Um, otherwise, you're amending the motion. Yeah. So, so you right. so right. just clarify that it's the yeah. neighboring council that's putting it on. Give me a frown, my friend. This doesn't cost that. So let, let, let me amend it, if, right. if I may. So. The motion is is for a motion up to one hundred dollars. I just uh, offer an amendment up to one hundred dollars for expenses for a forum to be sponsored by our neighborhood council uh, on the Aliso Canyon reopening issue. So, you seconding it? Second by City Moon. All right. Public comment. Board comment. Oh, oh Eric. Sorry, Eric. Eric didn't see. You. Um, I don't see the need for it. I mean, there was a very spirited meeting in Woodland Hills the other night. I, I mean, it, it was on TV. It's been discussed in Finitum. I, I don't know what there is a real, I don't see a real need for, uh, for this forum uh, to take place because there's so many forms that have taken place over the same issue over the last year. I don't know what could be added. Is there any other public comment? Keep thinking you're still Okay. <laughs> Board comment. Jeffrey? Uh, that, I, that was my first reaction as well. There are so many forums going on here, but then Dave had been giving a, a second thought. You know, we're Granada Hill South. We're not right up there. We're not on you know, Cessna. We're not on Rinaldi. But, you know, if, I would wonder, I mean, are we experiencing this? Is there a need for it? Maybe I'm, I shouldn't be so fast to say there isn't a need for it. Is there a need for it with us flatlanders? <laughs> yes, uh, Mark did have a say, and then Cindy. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say that that I've been to a lot of these forums that have been conducted by, and actually this is part of my <coughs> is I've been to a lot of these forums that have either been conducted by lawyers or been conducted by uh, special interest groups of one way, one way or the other. But there are a lot of things.